ساسوت تنانو تجيد بيوسيك تجيب من بيهيت سيك مسويوت ستسينوت Iyuji means the people's land. We Iyuj have prospered here for thousands of years. Iyuji has shaped our identity and way of life, and we as Iyuj have a deep connection to the land. For centuries and to this day, the territory has been organized into family traplines and duhu Iyuji. These traplines were later associated with trading posts, which led to the formation of our modern-day communities. Even with this modernity, Cree culture is alive and thriving. Families still go out on the land to practice centuries-old traditional activities year-round. Our presence on the land is everywhere, and nothing happens in Iyuishi without our people knowing about it. Iyuishi is located on the northeastern coast of James Bay. It extends over 400,000 square kilometers. The Cree nation is connected through its communities. Each with their own histories and dialects. In the north, we have Wabmakshtu, which is not accessible by road and is shared with the Inuit of Nunavik. Along the coast to the south, we have the communities of Chisasibi, Wiminji, East Main, and Wiskaganish. Inland, we have Namiska, the capital of Iyuishji, along with the southern communities of Mistisini, Ujabumo, and Waswanapi. Washau CB and Mo Quebec are communities recognized by the Cree Nation government. We have always traveled extensively through the network of rivers in Iyuishji. The rivers are the veins of the land that have connected our communities and people since time immemorial. In the early 70s, the project of the century came to our territory at a moment when there was no recognition of Aboriginal rights in Canada. The project would reverse numerous rivers on the land and would have an impact on our way of life. We were faced with a threat, but we also had great leaders, leaders who had the vision to use modern tools to defend tradition. The Indians and Inuit of Northern Quebec in December 1972 went to Superior Court in Montreal in an effort to bring the giant project to a halt. When we first heard about the project, we wanted to retain our own identity and our own culture and our survival of the land. And we wanted to protect it in any way we can, even at all costs, because we really had nothing to lose. It was a bulldozer invasion. Of course, at the time, the Crees were not organized, just living on the land, hunting, fishing, trapping. We didn't have the resources we have today, nor the political organization we have today. And from there, the Cree started getting organized and having their first meetings and just to get a pushback. He asked me, he said, what are we going to do? Well, I said, we're going to fight it. When the Crees won the injunction, it really empowered the Crees. That was overturned, but the energy they gained from that drove them to end the negotiations and led to the James Bay non quebec Agreement as a, as a settlement. In 1975, the James Bay and Northern Quebec Agreement was signed, our modern-day treaty. The James Bay and Northern Quebec Agreement is a treaty. It's a partnership agreement between the Cree, the government of Quebec, and the government of Canada. The agreement actually lays out how the Cree and the government of Quebec, and at times the government of Canada, are going to work together on land use planning, project development, assessment, administration of justice, administration of education. So it's really a roadmap on how we're supposed to work together. We wanted to run our own show because we're the only ones that understand ourselves and knew what we wanted. And in order to do that, we had to run our own schools, our own health, our own police force and everything. And we wanted to master that all ourselves rather than somebody else run it for us. After the signing of the JBNQA, the following 20 years were defined by legal battles and fighting in the media. By the end of the 1990s, the Crees were finally beginning to take an active and equal role in the development of the territory. The 2002 Quebec New Relationship Agreement, also known as the Pédé Brave, transferred responsibility for certain Quebec JBNQA obligations to the Cree Nation government and established the basis for a new partnership with Quebec 
for the economic development of the territory. In 2008, the Federal New Relationship Agreement transferred responsibility of certain essential federal obligations to the Cree Nation government. The agreement also committed the Crees and federal government to negotiate a Cree Nation governance agreement. It's not the agreements, it's but what you do with them. You have to breathe life into these things. And we've gone from 40 years ago where a project was announced in our territory and we were not included to now having a treaty that allows us to be at the forefront of development, of having a say even before things get put on the ground. I think the unity of the Crees is our greatest achievement. We kept our people together. The unity between the Cree Nation government and local communities is really built on a strong foundation of communication. And I think that's delivered through having our council board meetings every other month, having live stream sessions that are open to members of the Cree Nation that can be viewed by anybody online. So whether it's river basins, migratory patterns of animals, there's a connection between communities and community members that goes way beyond our personal relationships. So it's our tradition that connects us to the land and keeps us on the land, but it's also that tradition which gives us the modern day legitimacy or strength to be involved in all aspects of land use planning. Because of these efforts, the development of the Cree Nation's economy is now broad and complex. It is community focused, and provides benefits that go directly back to the Cree people. The Rupert River partial diversion is an example of the Cree taking control and playing an active role in the successful design, construction, operation, and monitoring of a hydroelectric project. With mining development, the Cree began as workers in the few mines that opened in the south of USG. Through development agreements, the Cree now participate in environmental and social impact assessment, construction, and monitoring of mining projects in the territory. As a result, we have world-class mines with solid environmental and social responsibility records. In regards to forestry, modernity has increased the speed and intensity of this industry on the territory. The Cree are highly involved in planning and managing forestry development. Through these and other projects, we have shown the comprehensive capacity of our people to develop the expertise needed to protect the environment in the context of modern development and to succeed in industry. There is value in including Crees in development. At the provincial level, we are on the path of collaboration and partnership. The signing of the Pédé Brave was a turning point with the Crees assuming Quebec's provincial jurisdictional responsibilities under the JBNQA. We now look at the territory, environment and wildlife together and have mechanisms for seeking solutions. In 2012, the Cree-Quebec Governance Agreement was signed, finally ending Cree exclusion from governance of EUSG and created the EUSG James Bay Regional Government in partnership with the Jamaisier. Most recently, the 2017 Cree Nation Governance Agreement with Canada officially recognized the Cree Nation government and our local Cree First Nations as fully mature governments with the power to adopt our own laws, free from federal oversight. The Cree Constitution takes Cree self-governance out of the Cree Nisqapi Act and brings it home to the Cree. You know, the Crees have been inhabiting James Bay since time immemorial. So to see a governance change, especially the one in 2012, where we've had the opportunity to come and sit at the table in the governing body has been a major change. Balance for the Cree Nation is the means to ensure that the Cree way of life is uh, continued, that the land is protected for the future generation, and that development is carried out in a sustainable way and in a manner in which protects the culture, the environment, and the way of life of the Cree people. We are now full and active participants in the sustainable development of the resources on our ancestral lands, in partnership with all the peoples across the region, province, and country. 
Our connection and commitment to the land is eternal, and we have succeeded in securing our traditional relationship with it. We have ensured that it will continue to sustain us in a contemporary context and for all generations of Iyuj to come. We are the Iyuj of Iyushchi.